Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another quick post fight reaction. All right, y'all. Denise Kilholtz, she got it done and won against Kate Jackson. She scored a first round stoppage via big left hook, moving her to six and two. Man, she made a big statement in less than a minute, man. And um, this is what I was saying about this fight. You know, I felt like um, it was going to be a very competitive fight, but if that power catches up to Kate Jackson, it was going to be trouble. You know, in only 43 seconds, Dynamite, she was able to showcase that power against Kate Jackson in a fight that, you know, I'm a fan of both fighters. So I just went into I just went into this fight like, yo, may the best woman win, you know, because I didn't really want to take the time to break this one down to prediction, you know, do all that because my pick was going to be biased for either fight on whatever day I was feeling. But, you know, I talked about this fight a little bit on the podcast episode, but I just want to go back and look at it real quick, man, and just, you know, look at how you got to really appreciate Denise Kilholtz in her striking, you know, as far as just how poised and how ready to strike she is. I mean, at the opening bell, you could see she was just loaded up. You know, she she really punches with bad intentions. And first time Kate stepped in, she got caught with a left hook once. You know, she got caught with a straight left hand. You know, she got caught with the left hand once. You could see a reaction out of her. And then she went back into the pocket with Denise Kilholtz. And Denise, like, unleashed a barrage and she caught her over the top with the right hand. The right hand moved her right into that follow-up left hook, and the left hook caught her in the chin, and Kate Jackson was out. As she was falling, she was out. It was just the impact of the mat. When she hit the mat, that woke her up real quick, and she looked conscious. You know, she looked like she was about clear-headed, but, you know, she was about to get clear-headed. But Kate Jackson, as she rolled away, she ate a few more shots to the side of the head, and as she was facing up off of the mat, you know, on her back, you know, she ate it. She was about to eat another right hand, but the referee went on and stepped in and stopped it. And when that happened... At first, you know, I almost thought it was kind of a premature stoppage because, you know, I thought that Kate Jackson looked clear headed, you know, but from a couple of different angles, you could see that Kate Jackson was, you know, in trouble because when she ate a, she ate a couple more shots and then as she was like in like had her hand up in like defensive mode, she wasn't really like pr protecting herself. You know, it was more just like you were kind of reaching out to surrender, you know, if that makes sense. So, you know, the referee went on and just just jumped in and stopped it like. I don't know how K-Jax felt at that point, but yeah, I think that it was fair. It was just a legit stoppage at that point, you know, just to be safe. I mean, I'm a fan of her. Like I said, I'd like to see the fight go on, but I'd rather see a fighter, you know, not get hurt, you know. So it was a fair stoppage, in my opinion, when I saw it again from that different angle. But yeah, man, moving forward from here, you know, Denise, she made a really big statement with this fight, you know, stopping a top contender like Kate Jackson. And, you know, I know a lot of questions are being asked about should Denise Kierholz get that uh, title shot next? Well, I think it would be cool if she did, you know. But at the same time, you know, there's Juliana Velasquez out there, you know. And I've already put a stamp on it that I've said back in uh, January or February that Velasquez, after her last performance, she deserved a title shot. You know, her being 10-0, and 0, you know, undefeated at this point, she's been making a statement. And, you know, she's been beating a lot of the ladies in the flyweight division. You know, you can't deny that. So, she definitely deserves a title shot. So if Leah Lay McFarlane sets up a fight with her by the end of this year or the beginning of the next year, that's cool too. But if she chose to fight Denise Kilholz, that's fine too. And that just lets you know how deep her division is. You know, the champion has a lot of has a lot of work ahead of her right now. So either fight she can take on and nobody can complain and say, oh, she's ducking Juliana or no, she's ducking Denise. You know, they're both tough they They both present tough competition. So... I'd be excited for each either matchup. And let me know in the comment, comment section if y'all think they should maybe fight a title eliminator. I mean, I really don't think so. I think she should just take on one or the other and then, you know, just kind of line them up and fight them that way. That would kind of prove how good she is. But, you know, I, don't, I really don't know if Denise Kilholz, uh, excuse me, I don't know if uh, Aaliyah Lay McFarlane is going to be holding that, that belt by the end of 2020 or sometime in 2020 because between Velasquez and Kilholz, you know, these, these are some tough ladies. You know, but uh, moving forward from here, man, shout out to Kate Jackson. Like I said, I'm a I'm a big fan of her, too, as well. But um, it's just one of those things. I mean, you could probably go back and say fine tune defense and not take crazy chances like that. But I think that could have happened to anybody getting caught with left hook like that. You know, that could have happened to any fighter. And I think with the power on that left hook, that would have knocked out any flyweight. You know, that's just being real. But yeah, man, that's all I got on this. And guys, let me know in the comment section what y'all want to see Denise Kilholz do from here. Do you want to see her go straight for the title shot or fight Velasquez in an eliminator fight? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.